everyone. This is Dan, the famous investor Warren Buffett is the chairman and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway. The company filed its SEC 13F form on May 15, 2023. The form shows what stocks the company invested at the end of Q1 2023. Let's look at what Warren Buffett has been investing in and what changes he made from Q4 of 2022 to Q1 of 2023. First of all, let's look at how the Berkshire stock has been performing compared to S&P 500. If you look at the Berkshire B share in the last five years, it went up 51% compared to S&P 500, which went up only 41%. In the last 10 years, Berkshire went up 185% compared to S&P 144%. And in the last 20 years, Berkshire went up 548% compared to S&P 312%. This really shows Warren Buffett knows his business. That's why I'm so interested in what he has done to his stock portfolio in the last quarter. If you like what you've seen so far, please click the like, subscribe, and notification buttons. That way you'll be notified when I post my next video. It will also encourage me to make more videos like this in the future. Thank you very much. Let's continue. We have a lot of interesting stuff to cover. At the end of Q1 2023, Berkshire has 48 stocks in its portfolio. The list here is ranked by the value of each stock. Apple Computer is number one on the list, with Berkshire holding $150 billion worth of Apple shares. Number two is Bank America. Number three is American Express, then Coca-Cola, Chevron, Occidental Petroleum, etc. Notice that both Chevron and Occidental are oil companies. BAC, Bank of America, and C, which is Citibank, are large banks. That means even though banking stocks have not been doing too well in the last couple of months, Warren Buffett still has a lot of confidence in some of the banks. We will talk more about that later. Let's look at what stocks Warren Buffett sold in the last quarter. He dumped his entire holding of Mellon Bank stock, which was worth $1.1 billion. That's a huge move. He reduced his holdings on Kraft Heinz and Coca-Cola. He dumped his entire holding on RH which is the furniture and home furnishing company. He also dumped his entire holding of Taiwan Semiconductor and dumped his entire holding on U.S. Bancorp, which is not a bank. Warren Buffett's selling of bank stocks is not surprising considering the trouble of the banking industry recently. The surprising part is that he's still holding onto shares of Bank of America and Citibank and some other banks. Let's look at what Warren Buffett has added to his portfolio. He added Bank of America shares, added Apple, Occidental Petroleum, HP, Capital One, etc. Notice that among this list, Occidental and Vitesse are oil and gas related companies. Bank of America, Capital One, and Citigroup are banks. Again, it's telling us that Warren Buffett still has a lot of confidence in some of the banks. Among these stocks, Capital One, Diageo, and Vitesse are new to the Berkshire portfolio. Diageo is a very interesting company. The market cap is $102 billion. They produce, market, and sell alcoholic beverages. They own famous brand names such as Johnny Walker, Guinness, Bailey's, Smirnoff, Captain Morgan, Crown Royal, Don Julio, etc. In the last three months, Berkshire B share went up 5% already, when S&P only went up by 0.48%. Maybe Warren Buffett wanted to buy some booze to celebrate his success. At this point, I'd like to suggest for you to subscribe to my Twitter account, which is DanMarketL. That way, you can get my daily update on important news related to the stocks that I follow, as well as some of the trades that I make from day to day. Thank you for watching all the way here. I'd like to remind you again to click the like, subscribe, and notification button. And as usual, I will very much welcome your comments, questions, and suggestions. I'd like to remind you that I'm not a financial advisor. I share my stock trading strategies and analyses for educational and entertainment purposes only. If you want to buy or sell stocks, you should make your own decisions and you should definitely consult with your financial advisors before you do so. This wraps up my video for now. I will chat with you again in the next few days. In the meanwhile, I'd like to wish you the very best of luck with your financial investments.